hello friends so this is day 22 for solving problem of the day from GFG let's look at today's problem okay so there is a carpet of size A cross B uh, you are given a box of size C cross D the task is to feed the carpet into the box with a minimum number of moves okay so let's uh, understand the problem with an example okay So there is a carpet of length 8 and breadth 13 and it is a box of length 6 and breadth 10. Now I cannot put this carpet into the box because its length is 10 and the box length is 6. Also the breadth is 13 here 10. So uh, uh, yeah. So what I can do is I can fold this like this. Okay. I, I can fold the carpet like this so the length will become uh, 4 the breadth will remain same I just folded it the length of the box is 6 and 10 now length is fine right so 4 will be fitted into 6 six length box the breadth is creating a problem let's fold it then let's let's fold it okay so this is not working so I am folding with respect to breadth so my length is now 4 and my breadth becomes so 13 by 2 is 6.5 and it still is 6 actually ok so here is my 0 1 2 here is my 6 here is my 6.5 here is my 7 so here is the thing 6.5 its floor value we have to take the floor value in case of this decimal point so okay. so floor value means just before element which is 6 and ceiling value means just greater element which is 7 so floor of 6.5 is 6 okay so now this becomes 6 and my box is 6 what now see length will be fitted breadth will be fitted so how many moves do we, we we did one for folding by length one for folding by breadth right like this so there is two moves these two moves right but the answer is one actually okay answer my answer is actually one okay right so why the answer is one Let's see. So actually what we can do is that see if we rotate this okay so first first if we rotate this first first uh, fold it by length okay so fold it by uh, no so folded it by length then it becomes uh, now so we folded it by here so we folded it by length it becomes 413 and then we folded it by breadth it becomes 46 right now let's fold it by breadth and then by length so it will become what let's do it here so if I fold it by breadth it will become 86 and if I fold it by length it will become 46 right so both of them giving the same results at the end point right so for both these cases the answer is 2 not 1 right now what if I look at here I folded it by breadth like this and then I got the carpet size as 8 and 6 here and my box size is 6 10. now what I can do is if I rotate this carpet if I rotate this carpet it will become of length 6 and breadth 8 right now that's the magic actually so our length will be fitted here breadth will be fitted here you can see so this may be not the answer we can get the answer before this answer right here I can rotate this also okay 
but rotation will not give me a count only doing the folding by breadth or folding by length will give me a count count means the number of moves rotating is not a move so this way i can put it into the box so what i will do is uh, i will first fold it by length just fold it by length until my box length is uh, 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 my box length is becomes uh, greater or equal to this length okay then it will be fitted here my box length is greater or equal to okay. box length is greater or equal to this length then i will do by breadth until my box breadth becomes greater or equal to this breadth then i will do here by length and check by breadth that my breadth length becomes greater or equal to this i will do by breadth i will check by length here length becomes greater or equal to this so let's code then you will understand let's code it let's uh, if this variables b c equal to c d equal to d now while my a is less than uh what can i say while my a is actually greater than c okay so then i will do count 1 plus plus while my b is greater than b d uh, yeah we will do count 1 plus plus now let's keep all as it is at it as it was a is a Uh, b is b c is c d is d now while my a is greater than d i will do count 2 plus plus while my b is greater than c i will do count 2 plus plus now what i will get done is the minimum of my count 1 and count 2 right count 1 equal to 0 and count 2 equal to 0 okay so let's compile it It's giving. It's second running. Let's submit it. Ah, oh, okay. So I have to just uh, do this thing. A is equal to a by two. I have to half it, right? B is. equal to b by 2 same here and same here let's compile it let's submit it we got it so what we have done here uh this part is going is doing what here is my suppose length l breadth b here is my box length l dash breadth b dash i am keep dividing it until i became 
less or equal to L dash because I have to fit here, right? So my length L must be less or equal to L dash. So I'm keep dividing it and increasing my count. After that, this is this is this part. After that, this part what is what it is doing? It's keep dividing it by two. Here also we we are dividing by two. So keep dividing by two until my B becomes less or equal to B dash because to fit the carpet actually I want my length less or equal to L dash and my breadth less or equal to B dash. So I am keeping my length as L by 2 and B as B by 2. <coughs> and suppose we got an answer. We got an answer. We got a count. Now I have to uh, keep in mind the, the uh, rotating part also. So what I have to do at will I will do rotate at the beginning so this was my L this was my B I will rotate this and get this as B this as L and this is my L and B okay now I am renaming it as L and B again but uh, so what can I say is not like this I am rotating this in the beginning right and I am renaming, uh, renaming this as my L suppose and this suppose B. So now what will I check? I will check from my breath is this breath actually which is L is less equal to this L or not. And my breath and my length actually which is B is less equal to this B dash or not. Right. So what I am saying is what what this part is doing what this part is doing this one this one my carpet and box length l b l dash b dash and keep dividing it by two keep dividing it by two and goes the, this result now i am keep dividing it by two i am keep dividing it by two and checking if l is actually less equal to b dash or not right because actually i am now thinking l as my breath here is my L, here is my B. Because I rotate this, suppose, rotated it. And I am thinking my L as B. Or I am checking, keep dividing it and checking if it is less equal to B dash or not. And I am keep dividing B and checking if it is less equal to L dash or not. So, if it gives me count, suppose 2, then I got this count by rotating it by 90 degree and then uh, dividing and checking the uh, feeding condition and here I just normally checking the feeding condition and here I rotate this okay so this is the rotate condition and this is the original so this is the original this is the rotate condition right? okay? so there is two counts actually so I am giving the minimum so this is the actually trick it's a pretty simple problem so I hope you understand the problem and if you understand, then please like, share and subscribe. Let's see you in the next video.